Why do you want to be a veterinarian? Because I really like pets. And I have two of them. And they're crazy. I want to be a architect. Because, like, I think I can build my own house. <laughs> hmm, maybe I can be a nurse or a teacher. So I'm hoping on those two things. I discovered that we really have two worlds here in Utah, the state of Utah. We have we have the haves who largely live on the east side of the freeway and the have-nots that are clustered in low-income areas on the west side of the freeway and in, in central cities. Teachers really rarely ever paid attention to my lacking a skill in math and my grades just dropped. They plummeted horribly. In the fifth grade, I was getting really bad grades in math because it was like kind of hard. Fractions, like how to divide fractions and stuff. In many cases, a parent might be working two jobs and so they don't have time to sit around the dinner table and, and talk about math. They don't have time to do some focused reading time for 20 or 30 minutes a night like some of the other families. Well, I want to be a nurse, and so the schools I've applied to are Seattle Pacific, which is in Washington, Hawaii Pacific, and one in California that's called Dominican University. In private school, so everything changed. They don't really want to miss a day of school and they're always on time. They participate more, not only in class, also on all kinds of activities, including sports, and uh, they, they do their best. This is the most important partnership that I've ever been a party to, is with the parents of the kids that, uh, that we're working with. This was a little over 10 years ago now that I was introduced by a mutual friend to uh, John Walton, the son of Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart. And he, he generously on the spot pledged a very large sum of money and, um, and uh, asked that I match it from someone locally. And uh, I knew uh, Gaylord Swim through a business uh, association. Either he was working in education or he was working in public policy. And he did that and spent that time because he thought that was a way that he could contribute. We received the grant from the Daniels Fund and their focus at the time was Native American education. Fortunately, Children First Utah is a very entrepreneurial organization and we were able to be flexible in targeting some towards Native Americans. And uh, that's been a, a blessing in the lives of scores of Native American children. I was in public school up until fifth grade and it was just really hard to find myself to push myself to learn more. We're talking about parents who on average earn $24,000 a year and they're only going to get half a scholarship and they're going to have to come up with the other half. To do that, they were willing to sacrifice just about everything. Scholarship, NCFU, oh, my lifesaver. I think I've gotten a lot more freedom, a lot more knowledge about myself and my abilities. I would just congratulate the organization on, on 10 years, and, and I think that um, everyone should be so proud of what they've accomplished. of us who join together and cover at least part of that scholarship, the more children will have that choice. And I hope that in the future when I'm successful that I can do something similar to help children to be successful like I am now. I'm proud of myself that I can actually do math. I 
I want to be a neonatal general surgeon and I want to help little babies. Where would you be without children for CT? Uh, I would probably be where kind of the stereotype selected me to be. I'd probably be in poverty, pregnant at 16, wouldn't be here for sure. So I'm very grateful for everything. I feel happy because it's the best grade in our class. So we normally say, yeah, yeah. When I go home, I could scream and say I got 100%. I got um, A plus to 100.